right, Toyota Chance, let's see about all this overclocking business with this AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX. Yes, the overclockable, the best of the best AMD you can get in this Asus Scar 15. This is an absolute beast, this thing. 16 gigabyte RTX 3080. Wow, this thing is amazing. But let's see about this overclock sort of stuff. So let's just run Cinebench we're going to see how much water it uses and how hot it gets and then we're going to do some overclocking now essentially with the overclocking I'm going to put it in the performance mode first because it doesn't seem to be a normal mode I guess performance mode is normal but essentially here if we go to manual and we have a look we can overclock the GPU of course on the top left hand corner here and we can overclock the CPU now by its default it looks like yeah it's already overclocked and i don't think you can overclock it any more than this so i think that's already overclocked as much as you can i don't know of any other way you can overclock this if you know another way to overclock these ryzen 5000 series uh, cpus let me know down there in the comments like ryzen master there's no you know thing here for undervolting or anything like that all i have here is 80 watts 80 watts and i guess this is sort of like pl1 pl2 that you get on an intel system you have your lower power limit and your higher power limit they are both set to a maximum of 80 watts so i think that's as good as you can get what i can mess about with is the fan curve so what i will do is i will mess about with that fan curve so that it comes on a lot earlier that should come on a lot quicker now um then we'll apply that i'll say yes we apply that but first i just want to go to normal mode which we'll say is performance mode and we'll just run cinebench and see what happens see how many watts we use and how fast it is so let's just run that and we'll see the frequency as well so we're running cinebench and we can see a frequency of nearly four gigahertz 3.87 gigahertz uh, what do we got for temperature temperature we are climbing up this is the temperature the one i'm moving now looks like 75 degrees the fan isn't that loud you will have fan noise of course because i am doing this um looks like we're using 58 watts okay so this is nowhere near the 80 watt sort of limit and it tells us we're not thermally throttling this one tells us if we're thermally throttling this one here tells us how many watts we're using so we're doing 3.8 it's very cool it's very quiet so that's 81 degrees with the fan not really that loud you should be able to hear it a bit but we'll have a look at this Cinebench score and I guess this is in sort of normal mode okay 12,442 now now I could get over 13,000 with it in the overclock mode so let's do the overclock and see what happens for temperature and more importantly how much power we're using and actually I would like to see the voltage maybe we'll do that in another video in my review or whatever so let's go in here and we go to manual mode and we've overclocked the snot out of this 80 watts that's the maximum we can do i don't know about undervolting let me know in the comments if you know how to do it ryzen master yeah i don't think that works with this or so the only thing i can do here is just whack it up to 80 you know mess with that fan curve so the fan comes on quickly and we'll do that and now it's in its overclock state and see what happens here it's overclock baby that's the way we like it let's run it let's see about the frequency for a start so down the bottom left hand we're doing the four gigahertz now so not the 3.8 we're doing the four gigahertz now uh let's have a look here at these things Four gigahertz it's just come under four gigahertz now but it's still doing four gigahertz on the button there so 3.97 basically four gigahertz it was a slightly over four gigahertz before temperature a little bit more you can see there the spike is a little bit higher on the right still in the 80s and we're using how much watts the 68 watts now which is interesting because it won't hold the 80 watts so i don't know how i would hold the 80 watts but as you can see there a little bit faster I have done it before maybe that's because I'm recording and I have all these things open I have got over 13,000 with it overclocked before you seen when I compared it to the M1 Max so to sum it up here there was a lot more fan noise it was a little bit faster the frequency was a little bit faster we got a little bit more of Cinebench score used yes more power at its peak 
but then it come down to a reasonable sort of you know 60 sort of watts there so it wasn't holding 80 watts the overclocking so far the way it is at the moment things can update the software can update maybe you know amd release a utility we can undervolt it etc yeah it overclocks a little bit i think he could have done that anyway with the 4800 just if it was well cooled it would sort of boost to those sort of states anyway and it was keeping over four gig well pretty much on four gigahertz so i do like that but this is the cpu everybody wants and now it's overclocked i hope they add a bit more features to this overclocking but yeah it, it is an amazing cpu i mean compared to the intel one it just destroys it multi-core it's just an animal and yeah if you haven't seen my video i've compared the m1 to this so check that video out the apple m1 of course and yeah the two best silicon you can get i think it's better than intel intel has some advantages like you know quick sync and you know thunderbolt you know i want some thunderbolt on the amd why don't we have at least usb forward or thunderbolt i don't know what's going on there and you know some things aren't optimized for amd like they don't use the radeon graphics or anything like that or there's no hevc or h.264 sort of encoding used you're going to have to rely on the gpu which you probably do have if you've got this sort of cpu you're probably going to have a gpu as well so sometimes it's a mute point but this is an amazing gpu this is an amazing laptop 16 gigabytes rtx 3080 i don't understand what the whole 16 gigs is about why do we have a 16 gig version and we don't have it on the desktop i have no idea i guess maybe the memory is cheaper because it's not it's not 6x is it so it's just a gddr6 not 6x so anyway catch you in the next one guys hope you got something out of this let me know of any other tests you want me to do with this amd 5900 and i'll catch you in the next one tally ho